Let me tell you what happens if you don't go with my little proposal. Oh, what, you suddenly remember you're not the one who shot out Anthony's tires? Bingo. Because one word out of me, Johnny, they will open up a whole new investigation. And then people will start putting two and two together, even the idiots at the PCPD. That is if Todd Manning doesn't get to you first. Todd Manning. Yeah. Oh, man, I cannot wait to see the look on his face when I tell him that you are the one that ran his grandbaby off the road. You know, Johnny, Todd doesn't seem like the kind of man that has much faith in police enforcement. I bet he'd take a gun and shoot you himself. Sorry to spoil your little revenge plan, but Todd already knows. Really? Then yeah. how are you still breathing? Turns out I got something just as damning on him. No kidding. Johnny, you're smarter than I thought. Yeah, hey, like days? Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'll just go straight to the cops then. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the grieving mother herself. Mm. You think your star attraction will be so forgiven of you? Face it. You gotta go with me, Johnny. You can kiss your freedom and probably your life goodbye. I can't do what you're asking. That's the point. I'm not asking you. It'll destroy my relationship with Carly. What does that have to do with me? I'm not doing it. And you think Carly's even gonna go for that? You think Sonny's gonna buy the whole thing? Yes, Johnny, because we're gonna convince them together. Okay? Come on, Johnny. We'll make a good team. What, have you forgotten about that already? DID is a legitimate mental illness. Making Kate Howard a legitimate witness. It's just her other personality that's a homicidal maniac. She has been treated, Tracy. Well, bully for her, Monica. But it still doesn't mean I'm going to take her word over Joseph's. Oh, so you're going to trust Joseph, a.k.a. Joe Scully Jr., second-generation mobster. I can't blame him for his father's crimes. And besides, he and I have a very intense connection. It's just great sex. It's just great sex? Well, clearly you haven't had any in a long time, or you wouldn't say that. Okay, we're going to be late for Cook's funeral. I'll go get Edward and Alice. You put some lipstick on and forget about Joseph. <sighs> Trey was lying to me. <laughs> Which time? When he said that there wasn't a connection between his dad and yours. Oh, there's a connection. And his dad was lying to me, too, right to my face. When I asked him if he knew Sonny, he said he had never met him. I know. And he knows me. You're home. Christina, what are you doing here? I, I came to see you. I wanted to figure out what to do about my parents. Star was here. She, she said you left, said you were upset. What happened? Everything I know, everything I thought, I, 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 don't, I don't even know what's real anymore. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Really, I, everything is just so messed up. What do you mean? Is this about our wedding? I mean, I know it's not no, what you no, want. No, 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 it's not about that. I, I should have never dragged you into this. I'm sorry. Maybe you haven't noticed, but... I can be strong when I need to be, so whatever this is, I can handle it. And she's, she's your age, and she's suffering from a brain tumor. Oh, God, that's terrible. So okay. Hopefully she'll be okay. We're going to operate. But she's very scared. And the only thing that makes her feel better is Katy Perry. Katy Perry? Yes, she's a very big music fan, so I promised her that the first thing she would hear when she comes out of recovery is a Katy Perry song, except unfortunately, I don't know any Katy Perry. So I'm, I'm hoping and I'm wondering maybe oh, are you can... You, are you kidding? I love Katy Perry. Um, oh, okay, there's, um, there's Wide Awake, Last Friday Night, and, um, oh, wait, of course, Firework. Firework? It's all about how special you are. Or everyone is, and and how you should make the most of it. You know, really live life. Here. Listen.
Yes, Dr. Westmore. Hi. Can you check on my patient in 301? Of course. Uh, doctor, why don't I go? Sabrina has to finish those files. Right. I should get back to that. Thank you, Sabrina. That song was perfect. What song? Oh, Firework. Oh, I love that song. You can't help but feel better after you listen to it. <laughs> uh, Britt, listen. Um, yes? Okay. I'm a little out of practice with this uh, kind of thing. So, um, basically, I, I guess at some point I have to dip my toe back, back in the water. That was elliptical. Impressive. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, so, if the offer's still there for, for dinner. Are you accepting? It's a date. I'm sorry. I, I can't even talk right now. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. It's whatever you need. I need you. That's why I came over. I need you, too. Tracy, I can't tell you how happy I am to hear from you. Look, uh, I'm really busy at the moment. I'm, I have to go bury our cook. I'm sure it's a terrible loss. It's not important. Um, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Star, you need, you need to listen to me, okay? You need to be very careful around this bed. Okay, I will. If he comes near you at all, you, you let Michael know, okay? And you can't let anyone know that we had this conversation. Don't worry, I'm good at keeping secrets. No, I appreciate that, but this is not just about privacy. Because if this gets out, a lot of people are gonna be hurt. Think about my proposal, huh? I have a brilliant idea to stop Sonny and Kate's wedding. No, see, that's our brilliant idea. And Johnny, come on! It could work. And you know what? We might have a lot of fun doing this. It'll be a disaster. Oh, come on now. How about the power of positive thinking? You're gonna have to start doing that because... Either way, Johnny, this is happening. 